I'm so excited to say this, but it's the league season opener. We are off to Gosport Borough, a team that struggled last season, and it's fair to say they seem to look a lot better for this season, so it's going to be a tough, tough opener despite them being a side that did struggle last season, just about staying up in this division. Last time at Privet Park, we destroyed them 4-0, but without wishing to live in the past, we move on to a new signing, or shall I say, loan addition to the squad. Midfielder George Franklin joins us on loan from Oxford United. He did play for Northley last season, so he does have step three experience, which is, of course, very handy. We ended our pre-season disappointingly in a 4-0 defeat at Slough last Saturday, so hopefully that isn't a sign of things to come, as we really do want to gain promotion out of this league this season. So yeah, hopefully there's some good things to come this season for Bracknell Town. For this video, I'm going to set a like target of 30 likes. Your support does mean the world to me. So if we could hit 30 likes on this video, that would be greatly appreciated. Let me know in the comments section down below which non-league game you went to this weekend and what was the score. I'd be interested to know. Anyway, we have now arrived at Privet Park, the home of Gosport Borough, so let's get to, and it's the first time I've said this in quite a while, get to our predictions. So we've just made it to Privet Park. The weather looks a bit on and off in terms of the rain forecast, so hopefully it stays dry. But for the first time in quite a while, it is our pre-game predictions, and look, I've got Gemma with me. So Gemma, first of all, let's have your score prediction, come on. I'm happy with a win or a draw, but I'm going to go with a 1-1 with a one, one draw today. And I'm going to go for a 2-2 draw. I say that because I think Gosport have definitely strengthened. Once again, they've gone for a lot of pompy youngsters on loan. But we've also lost some key players. So I'll, be, I'll take a draw as well. I'm saying 2-2. I reckon we'll score a couple and they will score a couple as well. Can't say fairer than that. They've got Toby Stewart on loan from Portsmouth, the goalkeeper. So whether he starts there, I do not know. But anyway, let's head on into Privet Park. So Cole, pre-season is over and done with. Just give us a, a review of how you think pre-season went and how excited you are for the new season. Yeah, I mean, look, you know, has it been the best of pre-season for us? Probably not. You know, the stands that we set last season, um, probably there's been a lot of expectations going into this year. But listen, it's, it's a new group, you know, and these things take time. And, and I feel, you know, we're getting there. You know, today there's a lot of excitement. We've trained really well this week. And, you know, now it's up for points. Friendlies sometimes don't really get the same intensity that you want. But now it's, it, it matters. So, you know, we just said to him in there, now when you cross that line, you're playing for three points every week and that's what it's going to take this season. It's absolutely pouring it down here at Privet Park. The quality of footage may not be great this afternoon, but we'll give it a jolly good go. Look at it, absolutely pouring it down on the opening day of the season. Bugger it. Oh, 
four. I mean, So half time it's nil nil. We got better in, towards the end of the first half. Few opportunities. They had a, a chance which we didn't get on camera, which hit the crossbar. So it was close for them. But Jen, what was your thoughts on that first half? Yeah, no, I think it's been pretty even so far, but. Hopefully, when we come out strong and just get that one 0 win, I'm happy with the one 0 win. I'm happy I'd, with the draw. So. I'd take I'd take a draw all day long, but they had a golden opportunity to make it one 0 But like I said, hit the crossbar. We didn't get that, so apologies for that. But second half, hopefully we can get that winner. Um, maybe it might be Joey Grant, might be Esprit. Who knows? But come on up the Robins. So disappointingly, it's a 2-0 defeat to Gosport Borough on opening day. A bitterly disappointing, not just the result, but I think performance as well. My God, the weather was absolutely atrocious in that first half, even the second half during spells of that game. But if there's one positive to take from today's game, it's only game number one of 42, I think it is, of the season. So there's a long, long way to go. But Gemma, your thoughts on what was, a, I'd say, a disappointing day? Yeah, no, it was um, gutting for that performance. But um, overall, I mean... It was it pretty even in the first half, but second half we we played all right, but not good. We're just not good enough at the moment. But 
like you said, early days, but definitely Michael Ecott was the man of the match. Uh, he's put us, saved us in today, but to keep us going for 70 minutes in um, was definitely something special. So yeah, he was the man of the match, I think, for us today. Another problem today I found, we was given far too many fouls, which put us in danger a lot of the time of the game. But like you said, Gemma, Ecott made a few good saves. I think Joe Grant had a decent game for spells as well. But look, we come back next Saturday at home to Didcot Town. The team have got promoted to this league. So hopefully that's a game that we can get our first three points and win of the league season. But anyway, we'll have a look now at the other results in our league. Didcot Town, who were playing next Saturday, lost 1-0 at home to Hayes and Yedin. Hamill Town and Cheshire United got abandoned. Harrowborough 1, AFC Totten 2. That's a great result for AFC Totten. Hendon beat Showling 3-1, which is a great result for them after Hendon just about stayed up last season. Now, I think the biggest result of the day by Country Mile is Hungerford Town beating Plymouth Parkway seven goals to nil. Hungerford Town are going to be a fantastic outfit this season and that is the proof in the pudding. I think Plymouth Parkway as well getting absolutely battered. They'll be disappointed by that. Merford Town 3, Dorchester Town 2, Salisbury 1, Beaconsfield 1. Another huge scoreline today, Swindon Supermarine 2, Paul Town 7. So, Paul Town, another team getting seven goals this afternoon and they really will be the league, early league favourites to win the title this coming season. And Tiverton 2, Basingstoke 2. Basingstoke were 2-0 up and then Tiverton got two goals back to earn Tivy a draw. So, not a bad result for Tivy there on the opening day. And lastly, Winchester City, I think they were 3-0 up against Walton and Hersham, but the game got abandoned due to a free wet pitch so commiserations to Craig Davis and his team they must have felt really delighted with that result but of course they got to play it all over again so if you have enjoyed this video feel free to hit like it supports the channel massively I've got some channel news coming very very soon and subscribe for more non-league content but mostly Brattle Town content so yeah next Saturday we take on Didcot Town at home at Bottom Meadow hopefully you'll be joining me and Gemma for that but until then we will see you next time